doing. So today is 12th of February and it's our first day trip in Germany for the year 2022 and we are going to the beautiful city of Bayreuth. It's a lovely sunny day, the sun is shining and we are all set. We are on the Autobahn and that's Rajni with me. That's little Rianshu and that's the boy in the front. Bayreuth, it's a lovely sunny day. Uh, I can feel the sunlight against my skin after like so long. It's been more than a week, and uh, we're just exploring the old town. Although I and Pranav, we, we've been here like almost two years back, but we have very faint memories of the city, so we thought of just coming back and exploring with friends and having a good time. Bayreuth is an administrative and service center for the Franconia region. And this magnificent building right here is the Magraville Opera House, built in 1745. It's one of the Europe's few surviving theatres and in 2012 it was inscribed in the UNESCO World Heritage List. We could not enter the building because it required a negative COVID report, but let's take you back in time and show photos of inside when we went there two years back. Oh my god, did we just spot a big dinosaur? And what is this big dinosaur doing in the middle of the road? Well, we googled and it showed that there's a big Orwelt museum around. And the dinosaur park is possibly the most interesting part of the little museum. Located next to the central post office. It's a great place to visit if you have kids with you. I just can't endure to waste anything so precious as the winter sunshine by staying in the house. And after a week of strong, dark and brutal winter, the sun had finally come out and I wanted to soak in every bit of it. And this beautiful structure right behind me is the Bayreuth's Old Castle, also known as the Alte Schloss. It was burned down completely in 1753 and in the past 200 years it has been used as the finance office and by various government departments. We then strolled throughout the city centre to admire and explore the simplicity and the magnificence of this town. This is the heart of the city centre and since it was a sunny weekend, it was buzzing around with people. I remember coming back to this place when it was June, it was the peak summers and now coming back to this place again in peak winters with all these barren trees and there's this chill in the air. It's a very different feeling altogether but still the city looks amazingly incredible and pretty. <laughs> pretty vintage building that you see right here the modern apotheke this is actually a chemist shop if you see there's a green plus sign over there it's a vintage building and i think it makes the most the prettiest uh, chemist shop ever and that's the city church right there and after roaming around a lot we thought of serving our hunger pangs and we had a lunch in kocklofel which is a german fast food restaurant chain and the food is here. We have great chicken, fries, coffee, some more fries, chicken bags, and we just hog on this now. So after a nice filling meal, it's time to explore the city more and we are planning to go further in the Innenstadt and uh, explore this beautiful, gorgeous town. That's a very famous uh, donut joint here, Royal Donuts. As you can see, I'm very long line. People are crazy after their donuts. And uh, we've never really tried this. So we're not sure what makes it so um, much craved for. But people are crazy behind it. I can't even 
can imagine how beautiful this place would look like when it would have all the roses blooming on it. I can see some small buds and some dead roses, but it's all dead right now. And we came across this really pretty street and it had these bright Tibetan flags hung all above and that's when we spotted a Nepalese restaurant called as Himalaya. The restaurant is closed right now, so yeah. <laughs> yes, as usual we got attracted to this Indian Nepali cuisine. Yeah. <laughs> And this right here is the city church, which was built back in 1194. And it was in 1605 that it was rebuilt in a Gothic style. Time for some quick shopping detour. And that's Woolworth, one of my favorite, favorite stores here if you want to buy a very budget-friendly home decor or utensils or stationery, this is your go-to shop. And Valentine's Day is round the corner. Such beautiful roses. And that's Prague which is like 260 kilometers away from here. I so want to go to Prague, like badly. <laughs> yeah. I really found this very creative. The menu with all the spoons around. And this is yet another heritage in the city of Bayreuth, which is called as the New Palace. Visiting the new palace from the 18th century is also known because of its adjacent romantic park where visitors experience design perfection of the Maghrebian culture. On the ground floor of the new palace, today the museum is seen with outstanding items of the Bayreuth manufacturers. At the end of the 18th century, the court garden was transformed into an English-style park with winding paths and natural placed trees. Doesn't it make the perfect setting to shoot a romantic Bollywood song right here? So after a nice, fun-filled touristy day, it's time to now say goodbye to lovely streets of Bayreuth and it's time to head to Nuremberg because it's almost 4 in the evening and in a couple of hours the sun will set and, and it's very cold already. So yeah, and if you like our videos, please like, share and subscribe to our channel and uh, we'll be coming back very soon with uh, new videos and new content. Take care till then. Bye. Ciao.